Greetings Team LCPS. I hope you had a safe and relaxing weekend and were able to stay out of the high winds we experienced on Friday and Saturday. But we made it through and we made it to the month of March. We're moving in on the last two months of school. Can you believe it? Great job so far and let's keep the great work going. March also signals the beginning of our Educator of the Year and Team LCPS MVP of the Year awards process. Your MVP nominations each and every week help us determine who will be in the running for these two very special honors. Students, staff, and parents, if you think you know someone who should be considered for these two awards and you haven't already nominated them this school year, make sure you do so by this Friday, Friday, March 9th. I'd also like to congratulate LCMS 7th grader Lucy Montana Lucy was recognized by the Louisa County Board of Supervisors on Monday night for winning our division-wide spelling bee. Lucy will represent LCPS in the regional spelling bee in Richmond on March 10th. That's this Saturday. So good luck, Lucy. I also want to congratulate our staff, students, and parents of Team LCPS for doing such a great job raising money for the American Heart Association through Hoops for Heart, Jump Rope for Heart, and Heart Chase. So far, our four elementary schools have raised a combined $29,000. We're waiting to see how much the middle and high school can add to that total. Already, we will, we've surpassed our totals from the past few years. This is what being a member of Team LCPS is all about, using our gifts, talents, and education to better our community, our country, and our world. Keep up the great work, Team LCPS. And speaking of team, it's time to hand out this week's Team LCPS MVP Awards. So here we go. And we're going to start with our Community MVP Award, and that's going to go to Ms. Rhonda Laporte. Ms. Laporte is the owner and operator of Serenity Farms, a horse rescue in Louisa County. Twice a week, Ms. Laporte opens her farm up to LCPS students as part of their learning experience. And judging by the nominations we received this week, the students really appreciate it. One said, I was afraid of horses at first, but now I'm not. And Miss Rhonda is nice and kind, and I've learned a lot from her. Another said, Miss Rhonda taught me how to build a horse shed, how to feed horses, and how to groom them. I think she is nice and cares about me. Miss Laporte, thank you for taking the time to work with our students. Your kindness has made an impact on them that, that will last for a lifetime. Enjoy this MVP award. Congratulations. Next up, is our classified MVP. For that, we're going to head to Trevelyan's Elementary School this week. Our winner, Ms. Christy Harmon. Ms. Harmon runs our STEAM lab at Trevelyan's Elementary School. And she's a huge asset to the TES Eagles as she makes sure all of the students there experience science, technology, engineering, art, and math, and has hands-on experience right there in her lab. And she puts in many hours to make sure all of that happens. Thank you, Ms. Harmon, for all you do for the Trevelyan's Elementary School Eagles and ensuring they get all they can out of their educational experience. Job well done. For our certified MVP this week, the award goes to Jewett Elementary School's Gail Massey. Ms. Massey teaches second grade at Jewett, and her fellow trailblazers think she's doing a great job. One nomination wrote, Ms. Massey is one of the most committed, dedicated, and mindful teachers at Jewett. She goes above and beyond to ensure the students are working to meet their fullest potential. Ms. Massey, thanks for helping out in many different ways for us here at Team LCPS. I appreciate your hard work, the support you lend, and those high expectations you have for all of those around you. Enjoy this MVP award. And finally, we hand out our student MVP award this week, and it goes to Gabrielle Wood at Louisa County High School. Gabby has served as a student tutor for the past two semesters, and she's handled the role extremely well. One nomination said Gabby stays after school every Tuesday to assist with the planning, development, and implementation of the lessons. Gabby never fails to be patient and helpful to all the students in which she helps. What a great nomination for one of our best young role models at Louisa County High School. Gabby, thanks for displaying some of my favorite characteristics, leadership, creativity, and compassion. Enjoy this MVP award. You have earned it. Ms. Laporte, Ms. Harmon, Ms. Massey, and Ms. Gabby Wood. 
Congratulations on being this week's Team LCPS MVP Award winners. You are awesome. And thanks for demonstrating one or more of our non-negotiables. You four are great team players for our team as you show that support, high expectations, accountability, and consistency, and have that true grit to make sure we get it all done. As always, keep those nominations rolling in. You all have done a great job filling out those forms each week. To fill out a form for this week, click on the link underneath of this video. We'll be coming back at you again this Friday. Have a fantastic week, and we are Team LCPS.